Hi there YouTube land and welcome back to the Small Workshop Adventures. Um, we're on another day and another job. Well, what are we doing here? Well, um, just before we get started, a little bit of housekeeping. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe, click the like button and uh, subscribe to the channel. It really makes all the difference. Um, what are we doing? Well, we're building uh, a nice little shed, a concrete base and a nice shed. So we're going to be in stages, a little bit of stages. So the first part of it is going to be about building a concrete base. So you can see we've got two tonne of ballast. We've got 12 bags of some. 12 bags of cement and we've got a lot of material over here so as you can see we've had juicers deliver everything off this morning we've got our two by two we've got the four by two for the shuttering to build the base um osb for the roof and the, and the floor so we've got a lot of stuff a lot of material so this is going to be where we're going to be at for most of the week if not all the week i would suggest what i've got to wait for is my mixer it hasn't turned up and it's been checked and confirmed twice, can you believe? But the higher centre part of Juicens, it's not here. And until I can get a mixer <laughs> to mix this lot, then it's not going to happen, is it? So we're a little bit. I can start building the shuttering the, for, the, for, for the for the for uh, the to build uh, so we can put hold the build the base. So I can get that again, the framework, the shuttering framework for the the, uh, the base. We can start doing that, but until the mixer. That's the main focus of today. And that will be the first part of this video. So enjoy. We're going to get on with it. So this is the area where we're going to uh, build. And it's going to be in this nice little clear space here. So we're going to build a nice little shed there. Um, so that's where we're going to do. We have, uh, there's my wheelbarrow. Starting to get my stuff together. Um, and it's a nice site. And it's a beautiful day. That's what we love. There we go. Okay, we have the shuttering um in we've got it as level as we can so you can see it's rising because the ground is coming this way so we've built this up this side so it's going to be nearly eight inches deep this side running down to about four inches this side um so that's the only way we can do that to get that otherwise you'd have this the shed will be on a silly angle um, so we've built the shuttering uh, we've put some ground pegs in again just to support it around the outsides it's all, it's all screwed together until we need to take it apart at the end and get rid of it once it's all the concrete set. Um, so we're gonna now just get on with this. So essentially, now the question, membrane or no membrane? Well, it's not, uh, it's, it's not internal. So although it's a shed, it doesn't need uh, as such because it's a solid concrete base. So a membrane it would be a membrane if you did it would just be bolt and braces and actually wouldn't achieve much because we're going to absolutely make this solid so uh, there's no issue there and then the the shed will be off the ground with air uh, underneath with slightly and then we're going to build a ramp to get in because the only way we're going to be able to do this so nice solid base we're going to get on with that now doing that um, it's square it's nice and square it's got a slight run which is okay it's sort of going down but that's okay because it's outside and, and any water that does get underneath essentially will just make its way slightly off and it won't pull underneath. So to have it absolutely flat level wouldn't actually be that helpful. So we just need it just to run, just a fraction, just slightly, but it's imperceptible when you're inside the building once it's built, it'll, it'll be level. It's just that it's actually not quite, but that's okay. So we'll just let it run off slightly um, and that'll be good. So now we're gonna get, um, doing some mixing. So, right, we're gonna make a cake. <laughs> Won't be very edible, will it? Right, um, four to one should be okay. Four to one mix. All right, so we're gonna just, uh, I need to try and not make a mess over here. I guess we'll sweep it up later. Already I've made a mess straight away. Lifting it in. 
It's dry, so we can sweep it. It's no issue. One, two. some gloves on with this. I need to get some gloves on because concrete dries your, dries your hands out. So I'll get me new safety gloves that I'm doing a video on about. So we'll get to that. There's been a break in the filming due to the weather. It started raining, so obviously I packed the camera away. I wasn't going to have that out and film, so you'll have to trust me, but I'm going to show you what I've done uh, and where we got we carried on because we could get wet. And we, uh, I'd like to say we didn't mind. We did a bit, but it's just getting on with it, isn't it? It's what happens. The weather happens and you do nothing about it. Anyway, um, in all of what you've just, what we've done uh, this morning, and now it's mid afternoon in building the base, because of leveling, as you saw when we did that, because of leveling it up, it's, uh, I've, it's double the thickness. So I ordered enough ballast for if it was at four inches high all the way, but because it had to double up to eight inches for half of it coming down and, and decreasing to make it level, it meant that I had to go and buy some ballast bags. So we've been out and we bought some more and now we're gonna finish it off with a load of these bags and just make up the, the uh, the base so i'm going to show you what we've got where we've got up to so this is what we've got up to that's what we've got left bought some bags we have got to finish it off it's setting nicely um so we've got a bit of uh, been, it's pretty level across there in fact it's very level across there it's nice and easy so what we've been doing is we've just been dragging this so this keeps it as you can see you just pull it up as it's wet and you keep pulling that across uh, got a nice rake this is a tarmac rake, so it's really super strong. So you can move your move your ballast around, move your concrete around, and uh, that just levels it off nicely. So it's setting nicely, and, and you know another day that's going to be rock solid. So that's where we're at. I'm going to set up the camera because hopefully it's not going to rain anymore. Um, we're going to set that up, and you'll be able to see more of what we're doing. So let's get on with it. Is hard work laying down a concrete base it's a good job i had henry with me as you saw he's uh, he's now holding the camera and filming that's uh i'm knackered i'm filthy i'm covered in concrete uh, and ballast and sand but it's all good we've done it um just continue to let it dry overnight um we went and got some more as you know um had to just slightly adjust there's always something you've got to adjust to haven't you when you're doing a job if it was absolutely perfect then well it's not a perfect world is it so you can't do anything about that so there's the there's the base looking good let that dry and uh we'll be able to maybe uh, my, uh, if i need to touch it up with anything i've got some more so i can do that just fill in any little bits once it's nice and solid but that'll be pretty good enough to build on top of i'm sure i should imagine so that's where we're at today um it's about four o'clock in the afternoon so that's not bad uh two-man job if you did that on your own uh, i think i'd still be here but um i'm not i'm going to go home now well, actually i'm going to measure a couple of other jobs and quote for some other jobs anyway that's another that that might be another video in the future you never know um so that's a wrap for today so we'll be back here tomorrow and continue the build so good morning um back on the job concrete is workable now uh, we'll leave it keep setting we're going to keep the shuttering up 
because we've made it just slightly bigger, which is what you need to do than what the actual base is going to be. Um, so we're just laying out the OSB um, to start building, making the floor uh, for the shed so we can uh, then start to build off of that. So that's the first thing. So we've got a couple of sheets there. We've got half there, which we turn around here on my saw horses. We've got, uh, I'm going to cut this to go onto there. Um, and then underneath, just be some two by two. So the floor will be built. It's not going to lay literally hard on there. That will lift it up off the ground. Some nice airflow underneath. It's a shed. This is exactly what we need to do with the shed is just lift it. So then there's plenty of uh, airflow, keeps nice and dry. So that's what we're going to do first thing. Uh, and then we're going to start, uh, so we're starting the build. Um, a good day ahead. The weather's all right. Hopefully no rain today. Did rain for about an hour yesterday, as you as you saw, as you've just seen. Um, which meant we had to stop filming because I wasn't going to have my camera out in the rain and I had to get all the tools back in the van. So uh, but anyway, should be good today. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, we've just, uh, what we're doing is we're setting out the floor, 400 centers, um, then that's just an, I mean, a standard building regs anyway, 400 centers. Uh, but so if you're building anything, just always when you're working out your stud work or your flooring, 400 centers, yeah, you, you can't go wrong with that. Um, that also supports it. So we've got the first one in place, so now we can just lay them in and uh, we can go from there. So yeah, 400 centers, if you're building anything, that's a good number to remember. Um, back again on the job um, this is day three we've done the base we did all this yesterday what we did get to yesterday and I've had to take apart we're just making sure which is really important we just had to overcome a little problem of getting the opening where the doors are going getting it absolutely the two diagonal mark uh, dimensions um, absolutely square so to the same size um, and I've just increased this slightly still big enough for what the, the doors is what made this more stability we had it there because that was sort of what the, the customer had, uh, sort of asked for but it, for, to build more stability i've adjusted it we've still got a very big opening to get everything what they want to do in here so it was important to get i'm using my level that dimension and that dimension absolutely square obviously upright 
for the doors, if you don't work on that and get that absolutely right, when you come to make the doors and you're hanging the doors, you're gonna be in a world of problems. So it's a case of just taking your time, making sure this is, rebuilding it if you need to. So it's just about getting those dimensions absolutely square. And, and so that when you've got your door, door the, the hole, the, the space for where we're gonna put the doors, you've made those dimensions correct. So you've got to get those dimensions, you've got to get that upright and square and those dimensions, and then you're all right. So that's what you work to when you're building the holes, the space, to either put your doors or your windows in. All right, so we're gonna get on with it. That's where we're at today, and we're gonna carry on building. We've got the roof to build and uh, obviously the, the front. So. was built yesterday as you can see you know, up here and uh, we've just now we're going to be building the doors we're going to get a long way to finishing today whether I finish today I don't know but we're going to do our best um, I'm not sure where we will but there'll be some small bits to do so we're going to build the doors today they're going to have some windows in here at the top just some like letterbox windows and uh, yeah what else is there to do that's where we're going to get to today, really. So we're going to get on with that. We have to just obviously get the roots nice and solid. You can see in here, um, really, really good roof. Uh, it would actually support my weight, actually, if it was up there, but it's a good construction. So very happy with that. Um, good air conditioning here. What do you think? <laughs> Shall I leave that? <laughs> nice little airflow. Maybe not. <laughs> anyway, we're going to get on with that and uh, crack on. That's a basic frame for the door. Obviously a lot more to make, got to be braced and all sorts yet to make it much stronger but there you go it's fitting quite nicely isn't it um we'll plane them in not a problem good Good morning, day five uh, of the shed build, of this shed build. Um, where did we get to? I was sl I was slightly hopeful that we might be able to finish yesterday, but we couldn't. 
so there's more to do still today so we've got this door hung as you can see we've got to hang the other door we've got to fit the glass fit the window pane window in there um hang that door we've got the fascias uh to fit and obviously the the roof the felt um and all around the side so and general finishing today so and all the door furniture so we'll finish the doors that's what we're going to do and hopefully we'll finish in a nice easy time and it should be a good day so the weather's great what more could you want so we'll get on with it we've built and i've built a ramp um we didn't actually show that on anything so that was the last minute we've just sort of got that uh the customer is uh needs a ramp because as you'll see there's quite a big bike in there and uh without the ramp uh it simply wouldn't work <laughs> we wouldn't better get anything in it so we're going to show you around let's come up to the doors ably assisted by henry behind the camera <laughs> so i have a cameraman there we go, we've got some nice solid doors. They are not going anywhere. I mean, they rattle a bit because this is rattling. Put a padlock on there. So we're gonna go inside first, obviously. Um, take that, some of the, the uh, we'll open her up. We have some bolts here. And come in. There is a nice bike in here. It's a shed. What more can you say? But it's a, that's a pretty, uh, pretty strong shed, <laughs> pretty good shed. It's well built, it's made from feather edge, two by two. Uh, so primarily feather edge and two by two is your structure because it's just a simple shed. Um, if I was building anything bigger, then it would be four by two or even five by two or six by two. But that'd be a whole different thing. But a shed doesn't warrant that, uh, particularly because you don't need to spend that money if it's gonna be essentially just be a shed. So that's what we got. Ample space for what we actually built the shed for is to store these nice, uh, interesting bikes. Um, and there's another uh, wheelchair is going to come in here as well. So looking nice, as you can see. Um, fascia's on. And as you look down the side, uh, you can see it's a shed. What more can you say? There's not much more to do about that, is there? So. Thanks for watching. Um, if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Click the like button and, and like and subscribe. Really appreciate that. It makes all the difference, particularly if you like, you click the like button as it shows YouTube that you, that you like this sort of thing and they'll promote it more and that helps me. So thank you. So from a nice shed build, maybe you could have a go at that. Maybe you could build it. Um, uh, who knows? But anyway, so from me, Mark, at the Small Workshop Adventures, take care, everybody. Bye.